I did it. I finally have an editing desk set up. I cannot believe that this is happening. It is so exciting. And I'm gonna take you guys on the journey with me. But I updated to a Mac Mini from my MacBook Pro. Now don't get me wrong, my MacBook Pro has been amazing. It's stuck with me since nursing school. But when I edit videos on the MacBook Pro, I get the spinning wheel of death every few minutes and it's just a terrible process, which makes me not wanna edit videos. So I picked up some extra shifts, I sold some of my things and I saved up the money and got a Mac Mini. And today we are gonna get all of that set up together. To start, I'm putting together a monitor mount. I knew that I did not want the monitor to be sitting on the desk because that's a waste of space. I knew that I could place the Mac Mini underneath of the monitor as long as we mounted it. Now the one that I have works pretty good, I like it. However, you guys will see here shortly, the screws do not fit the monitor that I have because the monitor has this weird plate on the back of it. So right now it's a little tad unsteady and I have to be cautious when I move the monitor, but it works until I get a better set of screws to mount this on there with. Now listen, I look super grumpy right here, but I promise I'm not when I'm focused. My eyebrows draw down and I just look like a grouch butt. But this is the new monitor that I got. And I don't know much about monitors, so I don't know if it's a great one, but I can tell you that I just knew I needed one and this had good Amazon reviews. When my son is in the house and I am in the shed, we communicate via walkie talkie, which is always fun. So the monitor that I got is a 24 inch SEP tray. I'm not really for sure if I'm saying that right. It's an LED monitor. Like I said, I don't know much about monitors. It had good reviews, so I went with it. And so far it's working great for my needs. I did not wanna spend a ton of money on a monitor, but I will have this one linked down below if you're like me and you just need a simple monitor to hook up. Now both sets of screws that came with the mount along with the set of screws that came with the monitor do not fit this mount appropriately. Here I'm trying out a couple of the different screws, none of them worked right, so I ended up just using the longer ones, which is fine for now. My monitor is slightly unstable. <laughs> if you move it too much, it's it stays, it's not gonna fall off, it just kind of falls, it'll either tilt forward or tilt backwards, but it works for now. I've got some new screws on the way to see if those will help with getting this mounted up safely and appropriately. Here you can see how far the mount is sticking off of the monitor. The mount system did come with these spacers, but they were actually too big. So I just ordered some different screws. Hopefully those work. Maybe I'll have to use the spacers with those ones. But for now, like I said, it's working fine. The mount can move up and down the bar that is mounted to the desktop. So I pretended like I was sitting down to make sure it was mounted at head level and I wasn't breaking my neck to look up. Next thing is to get everything cleaned off so we can start setting up the mouse, the keyboard, the microphone, and of course, the Mac Mini. So when I ordered this keyboard, I was looking for a mechanical keyboard, like old school 90s keyboard, you know, like I wanna hear it click. <laughs> that clicky mechanical sound is just juice to the ears, right? This one, however, when I typed in Amazon mechanical keyboard, this one come up, I didn't pay attention, and it actually is a silent wireless keyboard, <laughs> which means it doesn't click, but that's okay. It is by Logitech, it's the MK295, and I actually like it even though it's silent. Now the mouse I got, I really like it. It is a MX Anywhere 3 for Mac, and it's also by Logitech. It has an infinite scroll option, so with one push of the gray button on the top of the mouse, you can infinitely scroll, or you can click the button, and it just has a page-by-page -page scroll, which I prefer. The next thing I purchased was a USB-C hub adapter for the Mac Mini. I was worried that with the Mac Mini I wouldn't have enough ports. 
So this one has a USB-C, two USBs, two slots for a memory card, and one HDMI port. I'm actually really glad I purchased this. I already have my phone charging on it and I have an external hard drive hooked up and the Blue Yeti microphone, which we are going to look at next. So before when I was doing voiceovers, I had a blue ice snowball, or maybe it's just a blue snowball. And it worked really good. I just wanted an upgrade and man, has this been amazing. I'm still learning how to use it and adjust all of the options on here. So bear with me if I sound horrific but I'm genuinely excited about this microphone and it is aesthetically pleasing. Like it's just sleek and I love it. Now, if you've been following me, you know that I have a she shed. This is where I craft, I film, I edit all my videos and in the winter time, it gets a little chilly. I do have a mini split, which works great, but I also picked up this electric heater, which I am so excited about. The next thing I got was these acrylic bins and these are going to help me organize the Alex drawers that I have on the side of my Ikea desk setup. Now I've had this desk from Ikea for years. It's one of their tabletops, the Alex drawers, and two legs. So it's a pretty simple desk setup. Okay, the drawer is set up. Now here comes the thing that I am most excited for. It's the Mac mini. It is here, you guys, and it is gorgeous. And my son, of course, had to help me open this thing up. I think he was just as excited as I was. This is a refurbished Mac mini with the M1 chip, an eight core CPU and eight core GPU. But the most important thing, at least to me, is it has 16 gigabytes of memory, which means when I am editing videos and I also have the internet pulled up and I have file folders pulled up and I have a hard drive plugged in, it doesn't get bogged down. It doesn't slow down. It doesn't give me the spinning wheel of death all the time. And that's the main thing. I have been inside of my shed for a few hours and this is my third video that I've already edited, exported, and uploaded and scheduled to YouTube, which is absolutely amazing because before, in this little bit of time, I would have maybe got one video done. So I, this thing is a game changer. And of course my son took over as soon as we got it set up. He had to be on there, but then I was finally able to sit down and play around with it, get it set up. And yes, I am watching Twilight. Don't judge me. I'm a Twilight girl. I'm also team Edward. So you're gonna have to tell me, are you team Edward or team Jacob? And also is it time to maybe rewatch the series because I did. 